Welcome to the Body Metrics personal training video. We want to take this opportunity to thank you for your purchase. We believe that you will find your Body Metrics to be a valuable assessment tool. This tutorial is designed to assist you in learning how to use the Body Metrics. We want you to understand all the features of the Body Metrics personal system to allow you to take accurate body composition assessments every time. We'll start from the home screen. At the bottom of the screen, you see a series of numbers. These are the serial number of your body metrics device and the version number of the body view software. Also on this page is the administrator function. When you click on this link, a security box appears asking for a password. The default password is 123. From here you can make general system changes, change the administrator password, and manage profiles. To exit, click Close. Back on the home page, click on Create New Profile. Enter first name, last name, birth date, and gender. You'll also need to designate the person's athletic type. There are three types, elite, athletic, and non-athletic. Elite. This is someone who is obviously in great shape. No excess fat. Six-pack abs. Someone who is noticeably lean and or muscular. This could be a marathon runner or a bodybuilder. Athletic. This is someone who is in good shape with some excess fat. Most people fall into this category. Non-athletic. This applies to people who are obviously overweight or obese. Also from here, you would enter height and weight. You may adjust to metric measurements if desired. Once all the information is entered, select Start. Also, once you've created a profile, it will appear on the home page under Open Existing Profiles. When you click that, a list of profiles, up to five, will appear. Select the desired profile and select Open. Now whether you've created a new profile or opened an existing profile, you will move to the Body Composition page. If this is the first time you've started your Body Metrics device, you will see the message to press the Device button for approximately two seconds without having the device touch anything. This calibrates your device and lets you know that it is working properly. When the device has been successfully calibrated, a message will appear. Click OK to continue. The body composition page will always open with the values from your last measurement session. You may update the top portion of the screen with any changes, such as a change in weight, athletic type, or activity level. The top portion of the screen shows your body mass index, or BMI. BMI is a calculation based on your height and weight, and it can be misleading. For example, a bodybuilder with low body fat will have a high BMI and be classified as overweight based on BMI. In contrast, a very slim person may have a good BMI rating but have a high body fat percentage because they have no muscle mass. We all require some fat, women more than men. This essential fat acts as insulation and protects our joints. The goal is to reduce excess fat and develop lean muscle mass. Measuring your body composition and percentage body fat provides a better indicator of health and health risks. The Body Metrics Personal Wand uses ultrasound to take a true measurement of the fat thickness at each point. By making measurements at multiple sites, you can calculate your body fat percentage. To take a measurement, select a formula from the drop-down menu. There are multiple formulas for men and for women. The default setting is a three-site formula for both men and women, as it gives a good representation of the whole body. The more sites you measure will result in the most accurate body fat percentage reading. Highlight the first measurement point on the point list. A description of how to measure the point will appear in the measurement location box. Apply a small amount of ultrasound gel to the tip of the ultrasound wand. The amount of gel should be about the size of a pencil eraser. Click on the Measure Point button. 
Place the wand on the measurement site. Remember, the device does have to touch skin. Spread the gel by moving the device to provide a thin layer of gel over the 2 to 3 inch area. While maintaining contact with the skin at the measurement site, press and hold the device button while moving the device slightly up and down or side to side, about a quarter of an inch in either direction. Hold the button for 3 to 4 seconds and release. Moving the ultrasound wand slightly while taking a measurement is a technique called averaging. Since fat is not an even layer, this technique provides an average of the fat at each location. The measurement data graph shows a good ultrasound signal with several clear peaks. Now we'll show a signal without using averaging. The ultrasound signal shows lots of peaks in structure. With averaging, the signal is much clearer and results in more consistent measurements overall. The software will ask you to take the measurement on the same point a second time and if the two measurements vary by more than 10 percent, the software will ask you to make a third measurement. This is to ensure accurate readings at each location. Once completed, the software will ask you if you want to accept the reading or take the measurement again. After you've completed a measurement, Highlight the next measurement point and continue in this fashion until you have selected and taken measurements for each of the points listed. After you've completed the tricep measurement, go on to the hip. Take the measurement at the hip Once all of the measurements are complete, your body fat percentage will be displayed. Your fitness level will be indicated on the bar graph. Your weight will be explained on the pie chart and recommendations will be indicated as necessary. Most measurements are straightforward. However, measurements on the waist can prove a bit more challenging because the waist typically has two fat compartments separated by a fascia layer which is a thin connective tissue that separates the superficial fat layer from the deep adipose fat layer. For more information on waist measurements, you can view our technical video. Another advantage of knowing your body fat percentage is that you can determine your basal metabolic rate, BMR, the number of calories you can consume per day to maintain your current weight. The software calculates your BMR based on your current measurement and provides you with your resting calories per day and your calories with activity. You can choose your activity level from the drop down menu. To lose weight you would need to consume fewer calories. To gain weight you would consume more calories. One last item on the body composition page is the preferences button at the bottom of the screen. By selecting the preference button you can change features of the software. The Trends page allows you to monitor changes in your weight, body fat percentage, and specific fat thickness measurements over time. The data from each assessment will be recorded on the graphs by date. If you check the Show Values box at the bottom of the page, the exact values will be displayed on the graphs. You can adjust the displayed statistics by entering a beginning and ending date range at the top of the page. All of the assessments taken during the specified period will be displayed. By selecting the full report button at the top of the trends page, you will receive a report explaining your current assessment with graphs and recommendations. This report can be printed out or saved to a file on your computer. When you select the activity calculator, you are allowed to enter your various activities for a week. This information will, will be used to calculate an even more accurate BMR. The final feature of our software is the scan page. The Bodymetrics Personal is an ultrasound device, so it gives you the unique ability to scan body parts to see and track actual changes in tissue. With the scan feature, you can actually see fat loss and muscle gain. To begin scanning, select a scan point from the drop-down menu. If the location you want is not listed, select Other 
and enter a name for that point. It is typically not necessary to make any adjustments to the intensity, maximum depth, or scan speed. The default settings work well. To begin scanning, you must first spread gel along the area to be scanned. Apply about a dime-sized amount of gel to the tip of the ultrasound wand. Without pressing the button, place the tip of the wand at the beginning point for your scan and drag the wand down to the stopping point, leaving a slippery trail of gel. Once the track is prepared, place the wand back on the starting point and while holding the button, slide the wand along the track. As an example, to scan a bicep, place the wand on the midpoint between the shoulder and the elbow joint and drag the wand down towards the elbow. As the wand is moving, the ultrasound signal is being read on the measurement graph and an image is being created in the tissue cross-section window. Make sure the wand maintains contact with the skin along the whole path. What you get is a cross-sectional image of the scan point. Zero is the skin surface. The first strong white line is the boundary between the fat and the muscle. The last strong white reflection is the bone. You can use the track interface button to clearly identify tissue boundaries on an image. For example, the first boundary is the fat and muscle interface. If the software tracking is obviously off the boundary, you can manually adjust the tracking. By using the mouse, you can ensure that correct track is defined. The last strong signal is the muscle bone interface, and that interface can be tracked as well. The numbers displayed between the two boundaries are the tissue thickness between the two tracks. In this case, it is the total muscle in the bicep. When you select Save Image, that scan will be saved to a gallery for later comparison. Each scan will be saved with the body part name and date taken. When you select Compare Images, you can drag scans from the saved images to compare. Tracking can be turned on and off by checking or unchecking the Show Track box. The images can be printed or saved to a file on your computer by selecting the Print Report button. This brings us to the end of our training. You can click on the Home tab to return. By clicking on the question mark at the top of any page, you can play the training video again, review the user's manual, or review the technical video. If you require additional support, please contact us at 925-606-7044 or by email at support at Thank you very much.